Let's ride. It's right here, and it is just in shambles. People have been coming just to assess the damage and, and start to clean up, but I don't even know where you start right now if you look at what's what the scene is behind me. But this is a, a, a town that, that has, you know, few people, less than 100 residents. We're told today by officials that roughly 87 structures were damaged, 12 completely destroyed. So there's going to be a lot of work for the small number of people that live here, but people in the surrounding areas are already pouring into the town to help. Adriana Diaz in Glen Allen, Missouri. Thank you. <coughs> 15 minutes later. We're through southeast uh, Missouri. Karen Sainz yes. and Victor Hammack, thanks so much for being with us on Fox Weather, for sharing some of your perspective. I think it's always crucial to share some of these stories to eventually maybe help someone else that could be going through this as we see the storms roll off to the east. We're wishing... Just then. No power. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Fence completely gone. Part of it's there. Yeah, I'm okay, are you guys? Okay. The dumpster from 7-Eleven is here. Five minutes later. In a season of wild and powerful tornadoes throughout the U.S., Midwest, and South, this one in Iowa Tuesday seemed straight out of Hollywood. Look at that road. Oh my God. Almost otherworldly. Wow. As it ripped its way onward. No power. Oh my God. This is Western Illinois. Oh my God. And the same storm system that hit nearby Iowa. Yeah, I'm okay. Are you guys? Okay. Oh, my God. Leaving a landscape increasingly familiar in this country. This is that same town in Illinois once the storm had passed by. In Glen Allen, Missouri, south of St. Louis, early Wednesday, another tornado killed at least five people. We actually got a notification on my wife's phone that went off, so we knew something was coming. The power went off and the house just started shaking. It was uh, a lot of cracking, loud wind. So we ran inside, ran in the bathtub, and it was in a matter of seconds, and then it just hit, and it was just awful. Just You could hear the house just, I don't know, it sounded like it was getting destroyed. The past few weeks have seen dozens of tornadoes in the U.S. So far this year, there have been nearly 500. That's double the average number by early April. All in, more than 60 people have been killed. In Arkansas, the big one from last week. They're still dealing with the mess left behind. Likewise, in Indiana, one of eight states struck just this past weekend. I couldn't even get across the way. And boom, it was a bomb on. And it's not just treacherous twisters. In a number of places, including Iowa, hail. Some of the hailstones this big. And as those who made it through this latest round wonder what now lies ahead for their lives, it is with the new certainty in this country there will be more of this ferocity to come. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington. Built on legends. And that legends are a way of understanding things greater than ourselves. Forces that shape our lives events that defy explanation. Individuals whose lives soar to the heavens or fall to the earth. This is how legends are born.